We are now ready to start the yoke of our sweater. If you think about your body, right around the neck where your neckline is, is smaller than the circumference of your body down around your armpits. So we will have to do increases to make your sweater bigger to fit all the way around your shoulders, your chest, and your back. So uh, what we're going to be doing in this next portion is we're going to end up with four stitch markers at certain places around your, your knitting needle or around your knitting. And that is going to mark where those increases are going to go. You'll end up with four of them. I like to have one marker that looks different than the other three because that marks where increases go but also marks the beginning of a round. So I will show you that when, when we get there. So coming back to our pattern, it says marker setup. You'll notice then there is a bracket here. Let's see if I can, a bracket there and a bracket here. That's because we're, we will be doing this, this set of instructions twice. So, um, so let's go through what do these instructions say. Knit two, that will be for all sizes. All sizes will knit two. Then purl, for my smallest size it's eight. These other numbers are for the larger sizes, so make sure you're following what's appropriate for your size. Then knit two, that's for all sizes. Place marker, that's what the PM means. Knit 22 for the smallest size, more for the bigger sizes. Place marker. And then this tells us we're going to go back to the beginning of where that bracket is. And do that again so that we will end up with four markers four spots this first knit to purl some <laughs> knit to place marker that these instructions right here is for the first where your first sleeve will go then all of these knit stitches is the front then we'll go back this is for the other sleeve and this is for the back. So that's why you end up with four sections in between those markers. You'll end up with four sections. That's two sleeves, a front and a back. Here where we're talking about the purl stitches, that is to make the garter ridges down the side of the sleeve. Let me come back over here let's see if we can get the best picture we can so a row of knit and a row of purl as you're knitting in the round is what makes these little ridges down the side of the sleeve uh, you can see it pretty well in this lady's sweater too this is optional i'm going to do it as i'm showing you here you don't have to if you don't want to then as you're over here working this section, you will not do purls. Instead, you will do knits, stitches. So you would knit two, knit eight, knit two, place marker. And then as we're going around and around, you will just knit every row on that sleeve placket. And instead of doing a knit row, a purl a row. If you're doing the garter like I'm going to do, you will purl it here. The next round you will knit those stitches. The next round you will purl the stitches again. So um, I know this is like, oh, that's all great in theory. What the heck does this even look like? Let me switch cameras and I'll show you. All right, so we're back and have my piece here. I have four stitch markers. One is different. This is not required. It is going to make your life easier though. And I like easy. So this is the beginning of my row. I'm going to go ahead and put the different one there. And 
And for my size, it's, um, so knit two, sorry, that's for everyone, knit two. My size has pearl eight. Gonna double check two, four, six, eight, and then everyone is going to knit two. Place marker, and then I have knit twenty two. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. All right, and then we're following the directions in the brackets one more time. So, knit two. For my size, it's purl eight. Everyone's gonna knit two again. Place marker, and then I should have 22 left. Twenty-two will be my last one. I'm not going to knit that right now. But as you'll see, this is my beginning of the round. And then this is going to become a sleeve eventually, a shoulder and then a sleeve. This is a front, back, and the other sleeve. Let's go ahead and go in the next directions just to explain them. It says the four raglan markers separate the right sleeve front left sleeve and back sections that's what i just went over the central eight for the smallest size but these ones that we purled so you may have up to 16 uh, purled in the sleeve sections are the garter panels they are worked in the garter stitch from this point to the cuff to work the garter stitch in the round knit one round then purl the next so what some people do, and that and it may make it easier for you, is to place an additional set of markers on either side of that panel, just to remind yourself, hey, these are supposed to be knit and garter stitch, so it's a knit row, purl row. Um, I, I've, I've made enough of these, I don't generally do that, but I definitely can see how it would be helpful if you're a beginner, for sure. So, um, so that is it for this section. We'll see you for the next video to talk about increases.